Hi. Hi. Welcome to the lair of our great fearless leader. May I give you some drinks? Well, there's got a weak point in the interior. It's the visor, huh? Hey! Well, it's better than having to waste missiles. Yep. I don't have to worry about running out since I came here full ammo anyway. You might. I don't have time to deal with your shit. Huh, neat. All right. And behind door number three, was it? Basically three, yep, the third seed. So we finally made it to the third seed. So who's it gonna be? Dark Samus is waiting here, right? Yep, you think, but... Oh, wait, Ridley again! Ridley. That's right, you got two Ridley fights in this game. And yep. this is Omega Ridley. And I'll say this, this fight is pretty freaking hard. Yeah, I remember this fight sucking. It's not as much of a grind as the Titan. And not as much of as a powerhouse the previous one, but it's a tough fight. Yeah. And well, he's been modified to the point he has one weakness. It's just getting to it is the real problem. Yep. So the whole thing's reminiscent of the Meta Ridley fight for Prime 1, but a lot easier to dodge, thankfully. Especially considering that because it was designed with... Because it's Prime 3 made in mind with the Wii, they made this a little bit more lenient in that regard, or at least... Yep. Alright, now pull its chest plate off, and go to Hyper and go to town! Damn it, bitch! You want to use charge beam, because you always get a lot more shots out of it. Because otherwise, well, he just stands there and doesn't get hit that much. So, yep, basically just go to Hyper Mode, go charge beam happy, and just. Ow! Also, he hurts. I mean, yeah. You would hope so. It's Ridley. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's basically your second to last boss, so... Expect hell. And you know, I can argue this is the best Ridley fight in the Prime series. I do like this fight a lot. Well, I do have, to, I do have a bit of a soft spot for the meta Ridley fight, although the second phase can kind of burn in hell. This fight has some annoyingness to it, too. Remember, charge shots are your friend. You can unleash a barrage. Although he does turn every once in a while trying to get away from your blast, you dick. Hey, ow! Really annoying! Wow, I didn't realize he actually knocked himself back so hard from taking a shot like that. Shit, I wasted It's alright. I'm saying, I know you basically. The only opportunity. It does kind of suck, though. The only opportunities you have to heal yourself are with the fireballs that Ridley shoots. You have to shoot them down. So. Those ones? Those are some of them. I think he has other attacks and later phases that can help you heal. But yeah, it's mainly the fireballs. Yep, Ridley is. Deadly as Ridley is. I'm trying to think about the hardest Ridley fight in the series is, though. Zero Metroid is kind of rough. Yeah. He does have a simple pattern, but he is tanky. And also, the arena in Super Metroid is awful. It is pretty small, yep. It is absolutely It's very aerial. Hard. I want you to do... I want you to do space jump and screw attacking around him. More so to dodge, but... Even so, you have so little room to work with that. You're basically guaranteed to just eat a lot. It's a good challenge, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's good. I I'm remember the first I played through Super Metroid. That was the boss I died to the most. Then again, I don't know how many bosses I actually died to my first time through Super Metroid. Ridley was like the one that really gave me trouble. That the first Shozo statue. This was my first 2D Metroid game. The first Shozo statue gave me some trouble. I was able to figure out most of the rest of them. And then Ridley kept kicking my ass. Yeah. Fantoon wasn't bad because I never used super missiles like everybody else likes to do. Because that just makes the fight harder. It's like, oh, you try to be your best weapon? Fuck you then! And he just goes to town on you. Alright then. Eat shit. Ow! Wow, my chest plate being revealed actually hurts! That's right, I should probably cover it up! This is where it gets a little annoying. Now, Omega really has even more attacks! Watch over these, you don't swear about the orbs you have an attack, it's pretty hard to dodge. Say it even guess. more! Keep shooting Ridley in the mouth until you can get him to calm down. Can you calm, destroy it faster with Hyper Man, I'm guessing? Um... Uh, the orbs, I mean. 
Um, yeah, you could. Oh, oh yeah, and now he has this attack! That's actually not terrifying at all. Yep, he whips his tail and breathes fire! And they kind of go off rhythm, so it's not like it's one directly one way and then one the opposite end. Kind of as the tail drags, so it's a little weird in time to jumping. As long as you destroy one, though, it's fine, because then the attack is a lot less severe. If you destroy both, I think it just pisses Ridley off. But yep, Ridley will make this fight take a while, because it's all about being able to shoot it, him in the mouth. But, well, because of how frantically he attacks, it's never easy. He will, of course, always give you a few opportunities just to get some clean shots in. But yep, much like the Prime 1 version of his fight, you've got to make sure you're on the ball with shooting in the mouth whenever he opens it. It's just actually getting to it is a whole other matter. It never makes it easy, and you're trying to protect yourself from his fire breath! Then again, the Fusion version of Ridley's fight is also pretty hard. Yeah, if you don't know the exploit, it can be kind of rough. Yeah, the plasma beam, you gotta shoot it like just the right spot to stun him. And you gotta do it repeatedly. Yeah. Otherwise, he is terrible. And yet, sadly, the most pathetic is freaking Zero Mission. Yeah. As long as you learn not to shoot him with OW missiles at a certain point, he'll never bring his tail into it. And if you never jump and stay in certain spots, he will never hit you. Kind of sad. What you realize that you're like, oh, it's a lot easier than it looked. Well, shit. Oh, then again, uh, I'm trying to think. Damn, I missed. Sam Returns Ridley is not too hard. Man, a lot of the bosses, once you figure them out, are not that bad. Although Diggernaut is kind of a pain. Ow. Diggernaut, Sam Returns, and the Queen Metroid, of course. Man. All right, go X-ray visor. Because remember, it's fat, it's space on plating. Or fantasy, whatever. Massive damage. God! Yep, that's the only thing you do. You can't do any more true damage to Ridley until you break the armor. And that counts for some of Ridley's health. So, this is technically a whole other phase in itself. Once, oh, you get rid of, once you get rid of the armor, the last and most difficult phase begins. Ow. So yeah, Ridley's difficult like you would expect. I still remember there was an old screw attack list they had of the best Metroid boss fights. They didn't have a single prime boss in there. No, I think they had two, like, burn. I know one of the bosses I watched had, like, two variations for Ridley. And they never referenced Dark Sam, which is kind of what annoyed me. I know oh, yeah, number one is Mother Brain, that's but... That's ridiculous. Like, one of the Dark Samus fights from Prime 2, or hell, the one from this game, when we get to that at the end? Oh, man. One of the best fights in the series. Yeah. I, First I, phase, more so. Then the second phase starts, I'm just like, nah, Yeah, second phase is, is kind of rough. If it was just phase one, it would be great. Yep. Or at least, like, phase Something one different. and phase two would... Like, phase two is just a slog when we get to that. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate. It's not even hard. It's just a slog. It's disappointing, because it's like, ah. Uh... You had such a good thing going for you. Yeah, this phase takes a while, too. Because actually being able to destroy that plating takes time. And as it, as it always is, Hyper Moon X they take a long ass time. Ow! I didn't want to. The energy experience where its tail actually hurts too! Hey! What pain? Hi! Ow! I think you get like brain damage or something from ramming that wall all the time. Probably got a hard enough skull to take it. That is true, it is Ridley. He's basically a wild beast, even compared to the other space pirates. Remember that time I killed your parents? Wasn't that great? Oh, don't you even. I'm oh, sorry, I killed your mom in front of your eyes. Don't you remember that? Yeah. Don't it make you tremble in fear? It's the wrong game. Don't even bring that up. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, thank God you actually can dodge it. Yeah, it's just... Timing in a lucky spot. I hope it doesn't put you in a spot where you can easily get hit by his, his attacks. Good lord, with this freaking barrage. Your mouth is not open enough. 
And yet when it is, I'm not ready. Ow! Now, fortunately, you don't get the healing leeway that you do in... Huh, that charge would be a little different. You don't get the freaking healing leeway you do in the other two fights. You get much less opportunities for healing, so you really gotta be on the ball. Yeah, I almost wonder if I'm gonna make it. Oof. The last phase might be trouble. I'm trying to think how many attacks that really has that give, let you heal. I can't think of that many, honestly. Ow! You and your stupid fire breath! X-ray visor, let's go! You're gonna destroy both ends eventually. Can you stop doing that? You're ruining the integrity of my armor! I hope when they start making real progress on Prime 4 that they actually make something like... I hope it really is as fun as this game is. I really do. Yeah. I hope they look back on these and remember what worked and try not to change it up in such a weird way that it makes it very different. I, I mean, we... that's the, the, like, the one saving grace about um, Metroid is that, with the exception of one game... Maybe a few if you want to debate it. Yeah. Uh, Metroid's had a pretty solid track record. Yep. You only got a few stinkers, with most of them being arguable stinkers. And some of them may not actually be bad, according to some people. Yep. A lot of people hate on their end, but some people like it. Some people say it's their favorite, which I laugh at. <laughs> People like Federation Force for what it is, and you can get past the fact it's not a real Metroid game. I just think it came back. The, the thing about. It was a bad time, yeah. Yeah, it was the worst time. Prime Hunters! They tried to convert this into a handheld, and it, uh. Well, because of the format they went for, it didn't exactly work out the best of ways. It's awkward. It had no multiplayer, though. Yeah. It felt like it was more focused on the multiplayer, which is why a lot of Metroid fans kind of just strayed away from it. Yeah, I mean, it's still fine for what it is. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's terrible. I play it over Other M, if I'm being honest. This Other M, it's just the story you go fuck itself. The gameplay is great! Yeah, the big problem with Other M is that the story's kind of just... ...might so far in. That's one side. I mean, I wish that would drop some health. Nope. Yep, they do not give you a lot of grace for this one. And again, even then, I'd probably rather play Federation Force Prime Hunters and Other M than original Metroids 1 and 2. Which says quite a bit about the series as a whole. Yep. When you say it like that. When the worst games are the first two of the series back when they couldn't find their footing. And then the worst after that is one of the most divisive entries. That shows it's got a pretty good track record. It's just unfortunately something that Japan doesn't really eat up. Yeah. I just hope that this... I do wonder, like, what... Um, I wonder if that's the same thing that happened to, like, F-Zero and Star Fox. So they first were popular? The worst Star popular. Fox was somewhat popular in Japan. Metroid was not. I don't think F-Zero was. Yeah. Because that explains quite a bit. They don't seem to be as big as on the sci-fi side of Nintendo, it seems. Kind of sucks, but... Well, those Xenoblade seems like... It seems to blend between, like, fantasy... They like and fantasy and sci-fi together, usually. Yeah. It seems like... I do like it when they can kind pure of... Pure sci-fi is kind of... I want to yep. say pure sci-fi is what's happening. It's like futuristic steampunk, in a way. I guess that's what I could say. Like, Xenoblade kind of seems to go, like... Futuristic steampunk. I guess is a way. I guess the way it can be described. Steampunk tends to go like past technology is kind of thriving in full force. Where Xenoblade is more advanced than that, but there is a lot of like steampunk heavy influences. It feels like in there. Oh crap! Especially with, like the worlds and the towns and all that. I'm just kind of sitting here taking. Yeah, you just gotta careful. remember to dodge if you see him getting ready to throw a fireball or something. Okay. Alright, well, at least you were able, able to dodge it. That was good. He's gotta know when to move for certain attacks. We see his eyes glow. Jump out of the way. 
At the very least for that, yeah. Hey, he really is a fighting attack. You're not usually close enough for him to try to do that. Maybe I should be trying to? Uh, his mouth isn't open really that long for it. I don't think it's worth it. Oh. And that last kill would come so fast. That's usually the last one, though, it's a hit. Yep. Sidestep. Ow. I feel like I'm sidestepping, but I'm just not. I think it's a, just the splash of this charge. Yeah. It's just, it's a wide range. There's how big he is. Roof! Damn! He's got a lot of splash damage in some of his moves, though. Yeah, that's like the big thing that's throwing me off. That makes sense. Ow! Yeah, that's just me being And the fireball, the fire, the flame burn just comes instantaneously. Ridley. Oh crap. Come on, you freaking bastard. Just die already. Just start flailing your arms for you like a little bitch so I can take your armor off. Okay. Oh, you oh. got him. I say, I don't think he got hurt there. He just got knocked back, which is weird. Come on. Damn it! Close. They're so close to freaking being able to get his armor off. Oh crap. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just the perfect jump. Ah. Okay, he got revenge for that one. Shit. Just the perfect jump to get through that, though. Okay, so nice to know. It's a little bigger than you think it is. For dodging, anyway. Okay, he's sort of fired a little more fireballs. That's good. Looks like once you're down to under two energy tanks, he's a little more lenient with giving you a ammo to feed off of. Which is nice. Boom! I mean, hey, I'll take it at this point. Hey, better safe than dead. Move! Anything! It's all about survival. Yep. As long as it doesn't take as long as the freaking war goal did. Ow! No. Oh god. No, not yet. You can tell the difference when his wings spread. Okay. That's when he does the charge. The moves are a lot easily telegraphed in this fight compared to his Prime 1 version. This Prime 1 fight is still pretty hard, though. Yeah. The whole trying to hit his mouth right before he charges at you is annoying as hell. He's got to figure out that sweet spot. Once you do, you can nail it almost every time, but... It's nailing it, it's the hard part. Because he's moving all the time. Hitting a moving target is... Yeah, so hard hitting moving target. Something want you to do a lot, and it's not always the easy... It's not always easy. God, I would love that. Move! I was like, you know, I would really love energy right now. I got some energy for you! Let me show it down your throat! Ow! You knock yourself. Basically, there's a way to stun you where you open your mouth for a little for a prolonged period of time. If only. Boy, I had power bombs. Well, I have three. Uh, it's insane to get. Ooh! Ow! God damn it! Always. You know, I did like something that Zero Mission did. What's that? Wouldn't it be great if there was a boss that, that the final boss got upgraded once you had 100 percent of your items? <laughs> Oh god. I was thinking about that. It's like that's the one of the only games that actually does that. Kind of. Where you act they actually upgrade the boss to make it harder when you're at hundred percent. Oh god. Some things will add extra phase or some things will be like you have to unlock something with getting near hundred percent. I do like the like it reminds me of Mega Man Zero in a way. You know like in Mega Man Zero where it's like if you play the game on a harder difficulty, the bosses have like extra phases and attacks. Oh crap. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. A bit. Yeah, I remember that for All right, yeah. time for phase three. This is going to be rough. Yep, you know it's just exposed. You can't do anything. Don't bother. By the way, keep track of the radar on your upper left. Which I never mentioned yet. Oh, God. Like, yeah, watch out for the missiles. Just dodge everything for now. So how do I dodge? Just, just move around. I just like how the radar actually shows, like, the whole shape of Ridley. It's the only way that does this. You ready to jump? Except he does that, and then he goes back. Yeah. It sucks that he flies around and starts doing a bunch of this shit. Firing a bunch of missiles and all that. And then he comes to land down. 
You can tell from his landing he's gonna land for good. Oh god, he's blowing me outside. Oh crap. Yeah, this phase is a nightmare. He can't hit his mouth a bit when he's flying as well, so be sure to look for that too. Oh, was I supposed to be I mean he he'll stop flying eventually, just you get some opportunities while he's flying, he stands still. Okay. Now will be a little more normal, but he'll be a little more aggressive than he has been before. Ow. Oh, he doesn't like getting back to his backside. So yep, do not get to his backside, he will whip you for that. Oh man, he cornered you there. That was a dick move. He's still healed more than you want. Move! And don't forget, you always try to shoot him as he charges. He's back to doing the three in a row thing, so. Oh! Oh, he fired multiple of those at once now. Uh oh. No hyper mode possible. Yikes. Alright, now we gotta hope you fire fireballs. Oh yeah, he has that too. He's actually trying to run up to you and claw you. Without hyper mode, we can't really go after him right now. Oh man. Didn't realize how painful this fight is without any health. Only one attack of his will allow you to heal. Ugh, man. I really want you to conserve this energy throughout the fight. He will not give you a lot of opportunities. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I was the other M's Ridley fight is also kind of difficult too. I forgot about that one because of. Yeah, I had to. That becomes like played, Dark Ridley or whatever the hell that thing is. It's been a while since I played um, Mother M, so. I don't remember how that one The Ridley was. fight is definitely one of the best parts of that game. It's yeah. arguably one of the best Ridley fights. It's a pretty good one. I know the track is among one of the better ones in the series. It is one of the better remixes of the Ridley theme. Oh, there you go! Oh, that's a lot! You need healing? Here you go! Heal your soul! Oh! Where the heck is it? Well, it didn't give you a lot of energy, but at least you got something. Ah! Ow. The more center that charge gets, the more... Alright, high remote time! Oh, God. Be careful once it runs out. Yeah, really, I'll try to scratch you. So you're not in hyper mode during this part, you'll probably die. You know, I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah, I saw him. As soon as I saw him do the style, I was like, uh oh. Yeah, Ridley fight. It ain't no joke. It's a Ridley fight, so expect hell. Yep. I hopefully have a little bit more sense as to how to fight him. Yep. Emphasis on hopefully. Just try to, because consistently dodge more. Because that was where a lot of the damage was coming, just trying to look for an opening, but then you just got blasted with a fireball for just looking at him. Sorry, do I look pretty to you, Samus Aaron? No. God damn it. I'm just stunned in anger, thinking of how I can hurt you. I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. I know. <laughs> and I hate it. God damn it. Stop staring at me! I've been locked on you for 10 minutes. I just want you to die. It's rude to stare, Samus. I can't wait to kill you. I just hope I can pull it off. I kind of wish they kind of showed a little more of the intelligence of Ridley in some of the... Oh, the you're jumping a little too high. Your screw attack keeps hitting, like, the little ceiling area above it. Above the platform. Now, I was wondering, why am I taking such small chip damage? And it's the little guys down there, yeah. But don't worry, you'll get to heal from the things before... You'll get to heal from those snake things before you actually get up there. Before you actually get in the room. You'll be fine. Although we do... Should remember to save, too. Because we technically didn't save when we got here. I thought I did. Or at least... Oh, wait. You we saved didn't... when you got on the ship before we got here. Yeah. Just save a lot of time, since we need to heal now, anyway. God damn it. Oh, boy. 